Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Let's Play. Uh, today we're going to be playing a game called Melon Journey, Bittersweet Memories. I saw it on the PlayStation Store and I'm like, oh my god, that's a really cute game. We should try it out. There's a, it's a mystery, I believe. Oh. Captain Hamley. Hey, you there. You look awfully suspicious. What's your name? Honeydew. Yeah, we'll keep Honeydew. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honeydew, you say? Interesting. Very interesting. And you work at the Eglantine Industries Melon Processing Plant, correct? Uh... Why do we have a choice here? Yes? Then surely you recognize this face. Cantaloupe. Sure. Just as I thought. Well, that's all the information I need for now. You're free to go. But remember, I've got my eye on you. I think uh, the description was that our best friend has went missing. If there's one thing I've come to know. Oh, it's so cool is that nothing can bring about as much happiness and destruction as a single melon. <laughs> what? Don't believe me? It sounds ridiculous, I know. Look, it was never my intention to get caught up in this mess. It all started early one morning. Okay, okay, I'm getting up. <gasps> it's so cute! Oh no, I overslept again. Oh, it's adorable. An alarm clock, your least favorite possession. Should I go back to sleep or keep my job? That is the question we ask ourselves every day. A cute stuffed platy bear that was a gift from Cantaloupe. Get dressed for work? No. A photograph of you and Cantaloupe. Bedhead. Yeah, I, I guess let's get let's get dressed. We gotta put on the bunny ears. Looking good. There's a letter here. Dear Honeydew, if you can slip out of work today, take the train to Hogtown and meet me there. Kitten Princess and Strong Dog will be there too. I have something important to tell you all. Just make sure you don't tell anyone about this. See you then, Cantaloupe. <gasps> P.S. I heard you snoring at your desk yesterday. Picked up Cantaloupe's letter. We got a menu. I'm supposed to meet up with everyone at Cafe Pio. Pio? Oh, this is cool. This is a really cute game. Takes me back to the old style games. An ordinary fire extinguisher with a melon flavored spray. Oh! Cantaloupe's room. A cute stuffed platy bear you gave to Cantaloupe, Cantaloupe as a gift. The Pony brand, or Pony brand alarm clock reads 666. Wait, that can't be right. Excuse me? A small drone shaped like a melon. Cantaloupe's had this for years. Janet's room. Walter's room. Oh, I can just... Oh. oh. Walter's pristine mattress with the tag still attached. Above it, his portrait is glaring at you. Oh, that's interesting. Whoa! What happened to Janet's room? A crate of extra sugar, extra caffeine, melon soda, straight from the warehouse. Janet's bed, the Scounder S. Hound printed sheets lay half on the floor. Poster of Bianca da Dachon, Dachon? That's a dog, I can't say it. Billionaire at 16, it's rumored she's collaborating with Hamstar on a single. A messy dresser, too scary to look inside. A magazine cut out of a famous Rottweiler modeling a pair of smushy, smucky glasses? Like Gucci? Smooshy? Smooshy glasses? 
Okay. I'm glad I can go in everyone's houses. That plant's dying, bro. No one waters that one. Honeydew, you're here. I figured you finally got fired. Anyway, you gotta come to the office quick. It's an emergency. Wait, do we all live, like, at the office? Okay. So, um, nice weather we're having, huh? Sure. I guess we live at the office. We're just going to the marketing office, okay? I'm sure you already knew that. It's right through that door. We both work there, so I shouldn't have to explain this to you. Okay, well, why are you? You see? It's terrible. I... I don't have any moves left in solitaire. Janet, what the hell? I'm not kidding. I've tried literally everything. I'm at my wit's end here. Except, wait. We did it. Thank you, honeydew. We, you just saved my sad little life. Bro. This, there's a postcard from Strong Dog and Kitten Princess. Having a great honeymoon. Wish you and cancel it for here. Actually, we don't. Love KP and SC. Picked up the postcard. Your desk, you spend 10 hours a day sitting here des designing logos and negotiating contracts and instant messaging Cantaloupe on BipChat. Whew, that was a close one. I almost lost my winning streak. I can't get past you though. Behold the Frochi Copy Star 5000 Laser Jet all in one printer copier machine. The cheapest money can buy. Files full of important company contracts and a few used tissues. Nasty. Cantaloupe says, I wonder why it's so empty. Walter's computer. On the desktop is a spreadsheet editor, Melonsoft, Word, Melon Movie Maker, and a copy of MPG Maker 2003. Morning, honeydew. Yeah, I'm still working on that novella. It's in not easy trying to write a soul stirring tale of heartbreak and turmoil, but someone around here's got to do it. Whose desk is this? What? The day off? But honeydew, there's so much to do, and you just got here, and, well, I suppose I could pawn the extra work off on Walter. Not like he noticed anyway. Alright, fine, you can go. But first, take this down to assembly for me. It's the final label designs for the Melon Soto 2.0 rebrand. Give it to Rocky down there on the first floor. Got Melon Soda labels. It's locked. Unknown, the door says, new company policy, break room is to be locked at all times. Anyone currently on break is to be locked inside. Management. Okay, to the assembly. A portrait of Rambi Rabbit Eglantine, Egl CEO and president of Eglantine Industries. Industries. You can feel his eyes watching you. Oh. A note on the door says, stairs closed due to strawberry jelly spillage incident. Remember, strawberry products are not permitted on company property. Uh-oh.
Welcome to Egg Lantine Industries. All bidders are my- Oh, honeydew, it's just you. Sorry, I'm just kind of out of it from talking to all these investors all day with their turned up snouts and their well-groomed fur. Billy. An artisan crafted melon smells right. So I see we were... Hey, don't touch that phone. That's what I use to make personal calls during work hours. Oh. Wilting flowers stirring in a vase full of melon soda. I'm assuming we can't leave. So we put on the bunny ears because it's a bunny run company. Everyone's wearing bunny ears even if they have other ears. Crates of melon soda 2 point fresh out of the, ex the extraction chamber. Safety guide. Keep eyes and ears away from product. If you must sacrifice your body for the product, then do so. Three, no open paw shoes. What? My eye doctor told me that inspecting boxes for 10 uninterrupted hours each day could be bad for my eyes. Every time I try to get my eyes a break, my manager yells at me. Even if someone comes up to talk and talks to me, I can't turn around and look at them. Bro. My ear doctor told me that working with this loud machine yard, I, machinery all day could be bad for my hearing. But these earplugs the company provided only cover the fake bunny ears, not my real ears. What? This company's not doing great. Oh, the new label designs. About time you let layabouts and marketing got this finished. All right, just bring this signature back up to Donnie. Think you can manage that? Yeah, I can manage it. A giant fan. It sounds cool if you could shout if you shout into it. You're headed for Hogtown? You should do some market research while you're there. I hear that sometime soon they might legalize melons over there. I bet you the boss is gonna open a new factory. He's always got his fingers on the pulse of the melon world. A truck full of egg lantine ink products headed for Frogtown. A freshly packed crate of sweet habanero chili melon soda. Rarely ripened melons, ready for the extraction process. So melons are illegal in Hogtown? Since we switched over to the new formula, they let me take some of the cases of the old stuff home. But I already have so much at home, more than I could ever drink. So I've been heating up on the stove and having melon soda soup for dinner every night. Whoa! Oof! Not all this is what I call a box. Damn. Boxes of low calorie, low pulp diet citrus melon soda. Okay. We'll go back up to Donnie, I guess. Safety guide. Safety guide. Okay. I wonder why, um,. Cantaloupe's desk is empty. Thanks for running those labels downstairs. What's this? Rocky's autograph? I'll just toss that into the trash where it belongs. By the way, have you seen Cantaloupe today? No. Cantaloupe's briefcase? This wasn't here earlier. I should probably bring it with me just in case. Who is that? Ahem. Sorry. That cantaloupe. They ran right into me in the hallway. Dropped that briefcase and didn't even bother to pick it up. No luck I even bothered to bring it back here. Damn, Walter. Oh shit, he's working. Hmm? I'm very busy right now, so if you don't mind. do right perfect timing the boss would like to speak with you please come with me me well Ooh. statue of the first melon sold by Eglantine Industries statue of the first shell melon prototype a cross between a melon and an egg Statue of the first 50 pound super melon grown at Eglantine Industries. A pair of standard issue Eglantine Industries bunny ears, mandatory accessory for all employees. What the fuck is this? A statue of Hans Husk Melon, an explorer who was the first to bring melons to the continent. 
Hang on. What's this? A statue of Eglantine Industries founded the Great Ramby Rabbit Eglantine. Huh? I'm trying to sleep here, you know. What? Pablano? Can't a guy stand up on a pedestal and take a nap on his lunch break without being disturbed? Now if you'll excuse me. Bro. It, can he do that? Ramby will see you now. Straight through these doors. Alright, thank you. Whoa. Hello, honeydew. Please, have a seat. Okay. I've called you here to go over some details about tomorrow's meeting with the shareholders. You see... Oh, were you on your way out? A bit early to call it a day, isn't it? Why is he in shadow? You know, there's just so much work to be done around here lately. What with the unveiling of Melon Soda 2.0 just around the corner. We all have to do our part, you know. Ah, well, I'm sure you'll make it up somehow. I won't hold you any longer. We can go over the details in the morning. Goodbye now. Okay. Bro. Isn't it a fire hazard to not have the stairs working? In a building with multiple floors? Oh. Hi, so what should we get for lunch today? Definitely not peanut butter spaghetti like last time. Peanut butter sp spaghetti? Ew, you'll never catch me taking recommendations from Janet again. That's not the way out, this is the way out. Oh. Is it a tour? Can you guess what this room is, kids? That's right, this is where we extract all that delicious melon juice that we use as the base for the melon soda we all know and love. Wow! Can I jump in? Has anyone ever drowned in it? Sorry, but I'm not at liberty to disclose that kind of information. Any other questions? What's with the bunny ears? Great question. We wear these ears to honor our company's founder, Mr. Ramby Rabbit Egg Lontine. How come they don't sell melons in Hogtown? Is it because they're poison? <laughs> I can assure you that our melons are perfectly safe for anyone to enjoy, and they are quite popular here in Hamtown. But in Hogtown, there's a strange law that prohibits the sale of all melons and melon-derived products. Uh, I have a question. Um, can I go to the bathroom? Alright kids, moving on. Next we'll be heading for the distribu distribution department. I got myself into. I say we got this case just about wrapped up. Robert, are you gone awry? Seen it a hundred times. I guess so, but what about the notebook we found? All the pages have been ripped right out. What was that about? Well, you see, that's simply unrelated. It was robbery, plain and simple. You're right. Boy, I can't wait until I'm an experienced cop like you. <laughs> All in good time, my dear Hamish. Hamish? Oh, what? A Hamtown police cruiser is uh, dented from years of reckless driving. Company trucks used to transport a variety of melon products. Uh, what's happening here? Excuse me, do you work here? I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. My name is Lieutenant Ham Lumbo from the Hamtown Bureau of Investigation. You see, I'm interested in learning more about Eglantine Industries. Gee, what a nice pair of ears you have. Are those real? What I wanted to ask, what I wanted to ask, uh, do you know a man by the name of Carl Mellon? No, didn't think so. Everyone I asked, they never heard of him. But the fact is, he died right here on company property. Murdered. What? <laughs> just now? There's just this thing about this notebook. I can't make heads or tails of this case. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Carl Mellon. Interesting. What's that darn train gonna get here? Or when's that darn train gonna get here? I'm gonna be late for my dental appointment. 
Brazil nut. Barry, ah, oh, I have a meeting in 30 minutes. I'm not gonna make it. Helga, I'm only to protest the mayoral, mayoral election in Hogtown. That kitten king is gonna rule the day he messed with his hedgehogs. He's not gonna know what hit him. What? It's a melon soda vending machine. Kick it! Nothing happened. Damn. Oh. Who am I calling? Hello? Hello? Who is this? What? It's my refrigerator running. What are you talking about? This better not be one of those prank calls I heard so much about. That's hilarious. Destination departure arrival. Hawktown, Kitten Village, Bug City. Um, yeah. I'll have a... One number two combo, extra fries, and a large melon soda. No ice. Um, we only say, sell train tickets here. Well, fine. I'll just take my business elsewhere. I, yeah. Next. Need a ticket to Hogtown? Here you go. Nice timing. Looks like the train is just pulling in. Yeah, Cantaloupe said to meet in Hogtown. There we go. Going to Hogtown. Aw, cute! I love the transition scenes. It's been so long since I last visited Hogtown. I wonder if anything's changed. Reminds me of Spirit Away. Now arriving in Hogtown. It's a beautiful sunny afternoon. Oh, bless and thank you for riding Creatures Express. Our journey begins. Melon Journey. Act 1. Drab day in Hogtown and more boring work meetings. One of these days, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna drop out of society. To just watch me. <gasps> hey, hey, yo! What the? Oh no, the briefcase. Hang on, I gotta look at this. Snowy Mountain, Hogtown, Frog Forest, Kitten Kingdom, Melon Coast. It's a map of Hogtown and the surrounding area. Excuse me, I'm looking for the town hall. It is my intention to cause a great deal of civil unrest and draw lots of attention to myself. The people need to hear my heartfelt message of truth and love. Bro, a cat just stole our briefcase. I guess we're just gonna run after it. I don't wanna get distracted. <gasps> Caught. All right, pause up. Where were you going in such a hurry, huh? None of your business. Lay off, you pigs. What was that? She called us pigs. Hedgy. Pigs? Why, I'm a full-blooded hedgehog, I'll have you know. Say, why don't you see what's inside this briefcase of yours? Melon seeds? Well, well, well. This is enough to put you away for a long time. That's not mine. Sure, sure. I've heard enough. You're coming with us. Whoa. Let's roll. Oh, shit. It looks like this fell out of Cantaloupe's briefcase. Picked up a slip of paper for our age. How do we check our... There we go. For our age. What just happened over there? All right, I forgot melons are illegal here. Uh, there's something I need to do. Hey, look, it's Hamstar. Bro, do you have melons? I can't wait for Hamstar's concert. I got here early just to make sure I have the perfect place to stand. Uh, I think I know what cat just who. Just, I think 
think I know that cat who just got arrested. Was her name Lily? I haven't talked to her since she joined that gang. Guess she's been getting along well. Yeah, I probably should have intervened, but I'm kind of a wanted man right now. What? I jaywalked earlier this morning. Don't tell anyone, okay? Gotta keep a low profile. Bro. Oh, we can't go up there? Aw, oh, I wanted to talk into like the microphone or something. Electric convertible, fleshy, uh, fleshy? Freshly waxed without a single scratch. A little white car with fuzzy dice and dried paprika hanging in the rear view mirror. Hog mart shopping carts complete with gum stuck to the handles and wobbly wheels. Disgusting. Hey, watch where you're going. I lost my pet around here somewhere and I don't need you stepping on him. Oh, oh, Anthony, where could it thou be? Your pets and ants? Hello? Oh, a sale, a sale on oversized jelly beans. I should take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunity. For use by Hog Bank members only, non members will be charged a $200 service fee? What the? A family of ants is carrying chip crumbs into a cracked, a cracked, into a crack in the wall. Boxes of Father's Corn brand popcorn. An open box of ice cream next to cans of frozen carrot juice. Frozen warm gelato and warm whip. Tsk, kiss. They are killing me with the prices. Last week's frozen peas are 72 cents, now 85 cents. I will get manager to fix this mistake. A variety of expired milk jugs. There are cans of mixed Zorn, Garbanzo beans, Bip Squad simmer sauce, and sweet and sour drain cleaner. I can't believe it. No crunchy pillows, but it's my favorite cereal. How will I live without its crunchy, pillowy goodness? Sensitive fang paste, 100% natural turkey flavoring added. What the fuck? Artificial melons, want watermelon, honey too, and want to loaf. 100% legal. Uh huh. Discount metal bolts and coils. Cabbage on the vine and five month age prickly pears. Let's see. I know I have that two cents somewhere. Price check on extra strength hairball remover. That's extra strength hairball remover. Bro, this is not that big of a store. You don't need like an intercom. An art installation of a wood cutout painted to look like a fire hydrant. Hello? What if there's a fire? All right, let's go follow where Lily was taken. Yoo-hoo, honeydew. Oh, the thorns in the swish are prickly, pricking each and every one of my miserable little fingers. Why did I take the shop hanging up posters? And I, sh and I still have 2,631 left to go. What the? Today's special, grass jelly potato black tea with apple pie, $12.99. Ah, honeydew, you made it just in time for brunch. Oh, oh hey honeydew, wait, before you say anything, just check this out. I've been working on something you just gotta see. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Anyways, it was Cantaloupe who organized this little soiree, wasn't it? At least, according to this letter. I can't find Cantaloupe. Lost again? How very droll. Don't worry, my darling pumpkin pie. Just let me handle everything. After all, I put the strong in. Strong dog. How amazing, beautiful, heroic. I do it all for you, my love. Oh, strong dog. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. I'm embarrassed. Ahem, you'll have to pardon us newlyweds. Um, you look distraught. Is something else on your mind? Oh, is that all? You lost your briefcase full of melons? Melon seeds? Come on now, honey. Do you know better than to bring that stuff to Hogtown, don't you? Your drinks are ready. Shh. Hmm. Looks like you're new around here. Um. Uh. 
Shall we revisit this topic later? I fear the staff may turn a prior ear to our conversation. Plus, I just can't stand the look at that nasty rat. You good, honeydew? Listen, don't you go looking for those seeds. You'll end up in the mess of trouble. If you need anything, just swing by our apartment later on. It's the one with the light green roof. You can't miss it. Okay. Ooh. Great. Just great. Got stood up again. What is it this time? My bad personality? My bad breath? <gasps> Could I be bad to the bone? Bro. Yes. We're trying to have a private conversation here, so buzz off. Grumble, grumble, that kitten king. Who does he think he is, running for a mayor of Hogtown? Be satisfied with your own kingdom, man. A fireplace, don't get burned. Uh, nothing like a refreshing vanilla horseradish latte to start my day. Welcome to Cafe, Cafe Pio. Can I interest you in some walnut chai cheese tea? No, I get the feeling you're not here for our way. World famous beverages. I saw you running after that cat, Lily, earlier. I'd be careful if I were you. There are eyes everywhere, and you never know who's watching. Bro. Teas. Carrot green, artichoke jasmine, pork curry oolong. Bro. 